Okay, so how do we create our time lapse in PowerDirector 17? All right, so let's jump right into the program and let me show you how to do that. All right, so we talked about the e-camera, we talked about importing the photos into Lightroom and editing them and having them in 16 by nine. So assuming that you already did all that, now we're in PowerDirector, we're gonna bring it in and this is how you create a time lapse in PowerDirector. All right, so we're gonna go to File. Oh, but first, let's uh, check our settings. So let's go to this little cogwheel here for the preferences and make sure that we're set up the right way. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you're on 24 FPS film, right? Make sure that that's clicked. Uh, we're not gonna have sound, so we don't have to really worry about this because it's a time lapse, so you're gonna hit okay. And then now, we go to file, and then you're gonna bring in your photographs that you already edited and made into 16 by nine. Now, can you do all this in this, in this program? You can. Uh, but I find this is much easier and it gives you more control to edit them separately. So here's the folder, right? So you're gonna click on the first one and the way I do it is so you can uh, bring them all down and then I hit the shift key and hold and then click on that and it's gonna highlight all those files, right? All those pictures that you just edited and now you're gonna hit open. Now you're gonna let it go and you see how it's adding them all in synchronization because you already did, uh, you know, you, f you named it and you added the right number at the end, meaning that you, you see the name right there, late afternoon to night storm, September 20th, and then you just do pick and then Lightroom automatically is going to add all those numbers. So 831 photographs in here, guys. All right. So now they're in here so the next thing you want to do is you want to bring them into your timeline and now you're gonna hit control A to select them all so now they are all selected and now you're gonna just click and hold and you're gonna drag drag them all down into your timeline right there now it's gonna insert all the clips and it's gonna insert them as single single files and then I'm going to show you exactly how that's done once it's finished so it's doing the processing now so see now that they're edited and they're cropped to the way you need them you know it takes away a lot of having to do the work here I mean yes you can but it's just not going to be the same all right so in power director 17 if we look down here you see I have fix enhance and then we have slideshow so what you want to do is once your photos are down there you want to hit slideshow all right we're going to wait for that to open up I'm going to give it a second here. Okay. So then this window pops up. And uh, we're going to be specific to what we're doing. So we're going to look for time lapse. All right. So it's the third column down, guys, right here. So you want to do time lapse. You're going to click on that. Okay. So if we preview it, it's just going to give you a rough idea of what the time lapse is going to look like. So here you can look at what, it, what it's going to end up looking. So... It's just a quick way of looking at it. It's going to be slow because this is not the actual process file. So let's just uh, let's just click next. So from there, let's go to next. All right, so here you got some more options, right? And uh, what you want to do is just, all you're going to do is produce video. You don't really, you don't need to do this disc or, I mean, if you do advanced editing, all that's going to happen is it's just going to take you back to, um, the previous window where you see below this one and you, you can adjust and fix and hand do all that stuff so it's just gonna take you out of here but um, I already did all that and all my images are in the timeline so all we want to do is hit produce video and it's gonna ask you this adding the creative site to replace the selected clips in the timeline you just wanna you just wanna hit OK just hit, hit OK and it's just updating the timeline so all, all it's really doing is uh, creating, putting them all together in one single uh, usable file in order for you to produce. All right, so here is the next screen, all right? And what I do is I pick H.264 AVCH because that's the standard for YouTube because that's where I'm going to be outputting it to, uh, MP4 format. And then you're just going to pick your, uh, your file that you want to save it to. 
Okay, so now I already have the time lapse and you've been seeing it all along and you saw it at the beginning of this tutorial. So so that's it. Once that's done, you can you can use that file however you need. I'm gonna I'm gonna click off of this. Alright guys, so I hope that was very helpful to you. Uh, let me know if this was useful to you or if you have any more ideas or different ways that you do time lapses. Let me know if you use PowerDirector or if you use a different program. Uh, let me hear your thoughts and your comments on this. Uh, let me know what you like about it and I'll be making more very soon. Uh, and uh, you should check out my video on how to connect the e camera to your PC to create uh, time lapses because uh, that makes it much easier than the phone. Um, I also have other tutorials as far as photography is concerned. So guys, thank you very much for checking this out. I look forward to your comments. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.